Yo guys, what is up? It's Dave the Overscanger here, and yes, I'm back. It's been a while, but you know what? I'm ready for some great 2013 action. So, to start us off, let's talk about playing MSDOS based games on your Android device. Now, a while back, I did do a video on playing SimCity 2000 in which I did use DOSBox. I never really went in depth to what DOSBox really is and its capabilities of it, so now is the time to do that. So to do this, you just basically need an Android device, and that's pretty much it. So, let's get it started. Open source gangster, hey! Alright, so what you want to do is go to where you download your game at. For me, it's an extracted folder, so I'm going to extract it. Folders. And as you can see, extracted it to a Doom folder. Now pay special attention to any applications or executables in this folder because you'll need to know them when it comes time to run them on DOSBox. So I'm going to go back, take the whole Doom folder, the extracted folder, and move it to the root of my SD card. Or in my case, my internal storage. Right click, paste. And yes. And there we go, and we move the whole folder to our SD card for internal storage. Alright, so on your device, what we want to do is open up DOSBox. You're going to be prompted with this device configuration. So let's first go to where to download application data. Now this is where you're basically going to have your going to mount your virtual C drive. So you can choose any location that you want to. Ideally, you should choose the location that you place your game on, but you don't really have to. But uh, I'm going to choose my internal storage. Next, go to on-screen keyboard. And I mean, you can adjust these settings if you want to. I just want the on-screen keyboard and hit OK. OK, so now what I did was it mounted our SD card location or internal memory as our virtual C drive. Now what we need to do is navigate to the folder in which we place our game at. So to do this, you want to do go to menu, on-screen keyboard. Then what we want to do is change directory to the folder. So to do this, you're going to type in CD and your folder, and for me it's Doom, and hit enter. Alright, let's bring that down, and as you can see, we are right now inside a Doom folder. Now, now you want to launch the exe or the bat file of the game that you want to launch. Now, like I said, this is all dependent on what game you're launching and what file you want to launch, too. Because some files, some games have install bat, some have the actual game itself, so it's all up to you. The only thing, just remember the name of the file that you want to launch and just type it in. So what we're going to do is go to menu, on screen keyboard. For me, the executable I'm going to launch is called dice.exe. And I'm going to kind of bypass the install just because I don't feel like doing that. So you're going to type it in. Now you can type in a name. Now just to take a note, you can either type in a name itself with or without the executable extension. But when you're done, of course hit enter. And bam, it should bring you right into the Doom game. Or wherever game you're trying to play. Um, it's going to ask what to install. Not enough space on disk. Enter. C. Yes. Doctor Science says create it. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so now for me, what it did is create a new directory called Dooms, and I have to see what file is inside that directory so I know how to run it. Now, with every game, it's not going to do this, so it's all dependent on your game, but just in case you come to a game like Doom, where it's going to create a subdirectory, I'm going to show you how to just track this down. So, I'm going to go to any file explorer. For me, I'm going to use the default one, and here's the directory created, Dooms, and inside of it, I see Dooms uh, underscore 19 exe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to DOSBox, and I'm going to type that in. So menu, on-screen keyboard, and I'm going to hit, and I'm going to hit enter. Here we go. Searching, dooms, plating. So give it a few seconds. So, like I said, some games such as Doom, which is a very complex game for the time, um, may take a little bit. Here we go. And now what we're going to do is type in setup.exe. Wow, this is a whole lot we're doing for this. Here we go. Bam, we're actually finally in here. Keyboard only. Alright, so this is going to be a challenge to do this with the on-screen keyboard. Only we're gonna go to K 
Okay, I'm just gonna keep going through. All right, I just kind of went through that whole entire thing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And yes, we are finally in Doom, oh my gosh. All right, so what we wanna do is go to menu now, on screen joystick, and use these controls if you can kind of see them, hold on a second. They're right there, and use these controls, navigate. Oh no, I didn't want to load the game, go back. Let's go up, up. There we go, new game. Here we go. All right. Oh wow, it actually works too. So as you can see right now, I'm moving around. Uh, performance wise, is I mean, it's all right. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you and say this is the smoothest thing I ever used. But once again, it's getting a job done right now. Oh shoot, they're going out of water. And I have never played Doom, so I don't even know what I'm doing right now. But um, yeah, so just remember to bring up the on-screen joystick with this, so you can navigate this. And when you, once again, that's menu, on-screen joystick. Alright, let's go to the left. Someone there? How do I shoot? That's what I want to know. Going up these stairs, going up these stairs. Going back, not going up those stairs. Going up those stairs, going up the stairs. Alright, I really want to shoot. I don't know how to shoot. Wow. I'm sure there's an expert probably in Doom that's watching this right now and probably scolding me saying, this is not how you do it. You idiots, you idiots. All right, um, I think this is a great place to stop this <laughs> video. So let's go to menu, quit. We're gonna quit that. And it's gonna take a second. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I mean, just to find a few words, this game took a little bit longer the setup than what I anticipated. Most DOS box games aren't really this lengthy in the setup process. I mean, it just takes a little bit of patience. All right, so this has been how to play MS DOS based games on your Android device. I highly encourage you to download this, check it out, and just have fun with it. And of course, there are multiple DOS box emulators on the market, including DOS box Turbo and a few other ones. Some of them work better or worse than this one, so just you know, try it out for yourself and see what happens and what works out. <laughs> but yeah, so this is it. So thanks for watching, and tune in for another galvanizing video. Thanks.